Good morning, folks. Over at Space Weather News, we can see that solar flaring remains very low. Despite big CMEs behind the incoming limb, the Earth-facing solar quiet kicked in quickly, leaving only filament snaps without CME production. Focus shifts to the northern filament eruption threat and also to the sunspots. The central grouping is beta, but still spread without magnetic mixing. While the southern active region, 2396, is growing nicely and appears to have the beginnings of a delta class. The interaction is minor during this earth-facing solar quiet, but the potential is there for sure. Yellow, solar wind speed, dropping further. Coronal holes, facing earth, so how about that earthquake watch? Well, the plight of the opening continues today as the coronal hole power nearing top levels when we set the quake watch days ago has now disappeared and is barely even above the median force. Not that complicated. You saw it close up yourself yesterday, and we're still waiting for it to reopen. In the meantime, we've just got an above average tremor in southern Mexico near Guatemala, a very unusual 4.5 in Puerto Rico. Texas with a little rumble in a strange place as well, and then New Zealand was a slightly above average area too. Despite the planetary situation, without the coronal hole force, this quake watch may lack luster. Also, as Dr. Uyen Yen would remind us, the atmosphere has most of the energy right now with a super typhoon at Category 5 and a smaller storm to the east. By the way, Hawaii, that's about four storms I've seen just skim past you lucky folks down there. First story is about El Nino the effect on the East Pacific water temps. They are surging the past month. We could see more tropical activity soon. Got two shout outs here. First, I discovered Penperg recently, a group of folks who seem to be fighting for many of the civil, cultural, and economic interests as our alternative news community. Top campaign right now is about antibiotic use in livestock. This one is for Pennsylvania, but I imagine you have one of these in your state as well, and for those Keystone staters, might want to check these guys out. Secondly, Business Insider UK with a great article on the organic material on 67P, which you already know, but I didn't know that these guys pulled stock footage from our Siding Spring videos to do so. The animation was made for us by Xavier Thunders, and we think this was just a pretty cool thing for them to do. Now folks, there is only one thing that can be the top feature today. You know that our first Observers Conference is in October, and by the way, if you can make it, you really should. It's going to be dynamite. But now, the homepage of suspiciousobservers.org looks like this. That's right. Conference number two is open for pre-registration. Now, the details, schedule, speakers, all the info is yet to come, but that is why there is a heavy pre-registration discount compared to what you'll see a few weeks from now. Pittsburgh in October. Phoenix in January, the 30th and 31st. Find both at suspiciousobservers.org. Imagine the storms are peeling back your lawn. Woof, New England. The warning shift to the central states today with the moisture and heat. We'll see convergence lines carrying purple in our other top viewer locations. And then we've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. Observing the frontier, folks. Pittsburgh and Phoenix. Jump on it. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.